Remastered is the latest instalment in this series of Tetris-inspired puzzlers that'll see you bopping your head to the beat as you try and stack your way to victory. Did someone say luminous? Hey, Darren. Oh, it's been so long since I sunk my data tendrils into a challenging puzzler, so I'm just a little excited. <laughs> well, I never played the original, and I doubt many spawnlings did either. Did you want to give us a bit of luminous history? Affirmative gem! Luminez Remastered is in fact an HD remake of Japanese developer and music producer Tetsuya Mizuguchi's critically acclaimed PSP game, Luminez Puzzle Fusion, which released way back in 2004. Since then, the Luminez series has made appearances on a multitude of consoles, with the PlayStation Vita version, Luminez Electronic Symphony, getting reviewed on GGSP back in 2012. I recall Hex and Barjo giving it high marks for its superb gameplay. Oh, that's right. Thanks, Darren. You're welcome. <laughs> the main mode in Luminous Remastered is called Challenge Mode. The core gameplay revolves around matching up the same coloured blocks to form a square. Once they're connected up, you have a brief window before they're wiped away to add more blocks, helping you chain together sweet combos and up your score. It's a simple idea and nothing we haven't already seen before, but as soon as that first block dropped, I was hooked. Oh, I know what you mean. The way all your actions trigger different elements of the music really got me in. And there's something really satisfying about landing a solid combo. Watching all the blocks disappear and seeing those points rake in. Once you've cleared away a certain amount, you'll progress on to the next level with a new theme and a new track to bop along to. And this is where things start to get crazy. Songs with a faster tempo will see the blocks falling quicker, which can throw off your rhythm if you can't adapt fast enough. While during slower songs, it takes longer for the linked squares to be wiped away by the line that travels across the screen. Once the blocks have nowhere to fall, it's game over and you start right back at level one. Ah, it's so frustrating when you think you've got a good thing going and then you get thrown a few stray blocks that you can't line up and everything falls apart. Getting knocked out in the later rounds is particularly devastating because that could be 20 plus minutes of solid puzzling gone in an instant. You really need to be able to change up your game plan on a moment's notice during those transitions. Absolutely, and the only way you're gonna learn this is by making mistakes. A lot of mistakes. most here. While the puzzle is the same round after round, how you play is constantly changing. Yeah, they've nailed that fun versus frustrating balance, haven't they? Every time I was knocked out, I just wanted to jump straight back in, determined to beat my high score. Or yours. Your body, shake your body down to the ground. This means war. But we should probably talk about the other modes available. Time attack is my personal favourite. Where you have a certain amount of time to link up and clear away as many blocks as you can. The catch is, rotating the blocks speeds up the clock, so you have to be smart about placement. It's super fast, hectic fun. And it's good training for challenge mode. I really liked the mission modes myself, where you have to clear the blocks away in just a few moves. I liked that I always felt as though I was learning something new with each new puzzle. What about you, Darren? Darren? Oh, sorry, I was just in a nail-biting standoff with a fellow AI in versus mode. Uh, here, spawnlings can battle it out against a friend or the CPU, clearing out as many blocks as possible in order to expand their side of the screen. Oh, how I love to show off my puzzle prowess in such a visually stunning display. Well, you should get back to it, Darren. I don't want to interrupt. Back to winning! Ooh. Maybe it's my human brain, but I found particularly in the versus mode, all the colours and sounds are a bit too much. You've already got so much to think about that the strobing lights combined with the pounding music and the screen slowly shrinking in can be a bit overwhelming. Yeah, it was a bit much at times, and it took me quite a while to get used to that sliding bar along the screen. But once I found a rhythm, no matter what mode I was in, I was able to just focus in on clearing those blocks. Final thoughts, Gem? I had a fantastic time with Luminous Remastered. It's challenging enough to keep you wanting to learn and improve without being so tough that you feel like you can't progress. I'm giving it four out of five rubber chicken. I agree, it's a simple concept, but one that had me coming back for more every time. And it's such a great eclectic mix of music. I'm giving it four out of five rubber chickens as well. Now about that high score. Oh, bring it!